Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of JD2, Journey of Darkness. The book says I'm a fallen angel. <laughs> That's funny. No, 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 no. We are the awakened devils. Uh, but the devil has to punch wood, apparently. Yeah, I know. It all starts the same way. It took me a while. Apparently K is for quests. Oh, we get food. And nice. So we have to get the tools before the crafting table? Uh-huh. It is perfectly fine, boys. We are professionals. Here is my pick. No. Here is my pick. No, there is my pick. Thank you. Wait a minute, wasn't this supposed to be a quest? Now it is. Fine. The greatest achievement of the day, we are mining stone without a crafting table. I should have checked, how do you make a crafting table? Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. So I need one axe, then I need another pick, we get an upgrade, and after a crazy amount of crafting, here is a crafting table. Are we good? Are you jerk? Uh, we do not have a chest, so let us wait for the rewards. On a very positive note, mining iron is not going to be a problem. Finding it is. Yeah, we are at Y level 105. Maybe we should go down. This goes down. I think. Yes. Oh! Food! Oh, there was a door. Okay, this is going to be our home. It's made out of straw, but it's amazing. And we can eat it, literally. I have been checking the recipes and I'm not incredibly happy with it. There is a dungeon over there. And we cannot sleep because making a bed requires a buffalo. So I think for the moment we just have to follow the quest. Let us find some coal and some iron. Oh, that's coal. Okay, that was fast. It's rhyolite coal. But it's coal. So can we make a torch? Yes. I'm hearing zombies and I don't think it's a wise decision to go down there without a sword. Oh, there's also a creeper. Oh, it's an angry zombie. Die. Oops. I think he died. But I came down here for iron and we found it. Just one piece. Oh, two pieces. It's gonna be one of those crazy mod packs where you're going to get like 3 million different types of stone. Oh, I can mine osmium? Oh, it fell down. Okay. <laughs> this is such a confusing mod pack. In order to make a furnace... Well, this is the recipe, but I need iron to make a furnace. It's fine. We're going to follow the quest. We're going to make a hammer, that should be a quest, and that hopefully is going to tell me how the hell do I get iron. So, like this? Okay. And we get food. <laughs> food is nice. Every single recipe in this mod pack has been changed, so even processing iron is not going to be as easy as you would think. It's night time, I don't think it's a wise decision to go out. What's in here? Oh, this is a dungeon. Nice. I have a feeling that you will not be able to see anything, so I put a torch, and we're going to cover this area. Eh. <laughs> oh, iron. And bones. We take it. More iron, redstone, bones. Last stand is not the worst, I guess. Honestly speaking, I think the most important thing that we can take is the chest. Oh, we have abyssal craft. Don't judge me. It gives you armor. It's still midnight. I think we should go home and just get organized. There's a creeper on my home. Don't blow up. Yes. Honestly speaking, I think this was a great day. We have chests, we have a crafting table, and we have some resources. You know, I'm not a fan of staying home, I want my furnace. The problem is that apparently I have to gather four dandelion, or anything which is yellow, and make a block. Spawn is nearby, our home is nearby, we go find flowers. It's not even that far, it's literally here. We can also get some bones, maybe. What the hell are you? Drop something nice. I'm out. It's one heart, but we're not dead. Probably I'm going to die out of starvation. It's okay. Four yellow dies. You're going to give me oak. Thank you. Which has to be converted into something called Burning Essence from Content Tweaker. Such an amazing mod. Now we get to the iron ingot. We do have the two iron ingots that we need, so here is a quest. Thank you. But generally, how do you make iron? Ah, drop them in a puddle of water. That is a bit of a crazy recipe, but okay, we will try. So it's one of you and one of you. Anything happens? Oh, that was instant. Nice. We should get more. Hello. You look lovely. This is an ideal location for a house. We even get food. So with everything that I got, can we make a furnace? Yes, we just need more cobblestone. That's it. 36 to be exact. Does it have to be the same type? Oh, it has to be the same type. Ew. I did manage to find a few pieces of cobblestone, we need only 4 pieces. This is literally my last pieces of coal. We need 2 iron rods, and all of that just to make a furnace. Thank you, thank you. Actually, let's put it up there. I don't like bugs. But on a very positive note, now that we have spent all of our resources, we can get into tinkers. And basically it's just wood and iron. For one blank pattern. Yes, very nice. 
and I just noticed we have a glowstone block. I don't think it's a very good idea to just play around. We need Tinker Tools as soon as possible. That is a dead end, right? Yep. Jerk. We need at least 16 iron ore in order to get all the patterns we need to make tools. So the less I talk, the sooner we're going to get over with the boring parts. Oh, and by the way, talking about boring parts, uh, we have Totemic. Such an amazing mod, isn't it? And the best part is that literally everything is gated after Totemic. Oh, eight pieces of iron. We're halfway there. <laughs> So I just made a lovely discovery. We have Vein Miner. Okay, yes, we have Vein Miner if I have a pick. I did manage to find 25 iron and I believe we can just melt it. Perfect. Uh, I'm a bit short on food. Okay, drying rack is something that we can make. You know, I did make a joke that I'm going to eat my house, but I kind of need my house. So for the moment, zombie jerky it is. It's yummy. And the best part about zombie jerky is that you don't have to hunt for food. Food comes to you. Do you do something? I don't like you and I don't really want to have a roommate. My sword broke. He had 50 health. I did need a pickaxe in order to demonstrate vein miner on ores, but I can demonstrate it on a tree. Oh, we have bewitchment. Nice. <laughs> just in case you're wondering, I did not look at the mod list. I just wanted to play the pack. We need 8 blank patterns in order to finish the quest. I'm going to make 10, just in case. Here is our stencil table. I just realized I need more wood. As you know, I also need a part builder. And hopefully, if nothing has changed, a tool station. Honestly speaking, a pattern chest is not that bad and we have plenty of iron, so why not? There you go. We are good to go. I have no idea why would you need a part chest, but I guess we make it because it is going to give us potatoes and carrots. Oh, dinner is ready. Obviously, we are not going to be incredibly wealthy people, so the only tools that we can afford at this very moment is going to be made out of wood and stone. Personally, I think the best combination is that your tool rod and the binding would be made out of wood. Because, you know, wood is ecological and it has a higher durability, stone is just garbage. But we don't have a choice for the heads, they have to be made out of stone. Very good, we have all the tools and the rest we're just going to invest in sharpening kits. We also have 16 pieces of iron left, so I am going to make an iron pick just to be able to mine diamonds. And the rest we invest in armor. Yes, I am very fancy. So I will go on a mining session and I'll be right back. <laughs> I just came back from mining and I thought I'd go to the river to gather some clay in order to make the smeltery and I noticed this guy. There should be a lot of loot underneath. And a zombie. Okay, it's just a zombie. I can kill you. Uh, nothing of significance, but we take it anyways. I do say nothing of significance, but we have horses. And I just got a saddle. You are slow. You are 2.3. You are 2.6. Yeah, I think you are the best one. You shall be my horse. Be my friend. Please, you should like me. I'm very adorable. Oh, come on, you jerk. Uh, I have a feeling that you need some persuasion. This is your friend. We're gonna kill him. I got some leather and hopefully you have also learned a lesson. Did you? Oh yes, you did. You see, you have to establish dominance. And in hindsight, I... what is this? <laughs> Smoldering tar. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say there was a pack of horses on the other side of the river and maybe I should have used them. Cause this is kind of painful. You stupid idiot, just walk that way. Okay, <laughs> we're good. It is night time and I can't really do anything, so I thought we'd go on a very small exploration. Oh, we have one more house made out of wheat. Oh, two of them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's nice. And another one of these. Um, well, looting is going to be a main part of the game, I guess. We have a Thorncraft forest next to our base and slime islands. That is nice. There is a Cyclops. That is new. The only thing I know about Cyclops is that they are not very friendly, so we should just run away. Oh, a village. We should live here. I can sleep in that. Did I crash? No. Yes, it worked. And there are two villages. Ladies and gentlemen, we have hit the jackpot. If I don't starve to death. Uh, actually, you're the jam guy, right? Oh, no jams. I also have a question. I can mine you. Oh, we have a bit. We go home. We are going to loot the blacksmith. We're going to get the Sword of the Cosmos. Not exactly the Sword of the Cosmos, but it's not the worst. I don't need three helmets. <laughs> yeah. I don't really mind living in a village, but the problem is that the terrain generation in this mod pack is kind of weird. So I cannot live in a church like that. So I think what we are going to do is that we are going to make our own base. That is from Dark Magic. No. Evilcraft. No. I forgot the name. Yes, Evilcraft. Nice. I found a treasure map. Next to a river. This is a river. Is this an error? Because imagine if you just spawn next to this. Abyssal Wastelands. I was hoping that Divine Journey is going to be different than Septic. Apparently I was wrong. 
anything of interest. Efficiency 5. Oh, we already have efficiency 6 then. I really don't understand this map. Uh, you know what? I give up. I just go home and make my smeltery. We should take the furnaces. Yes, looting pays off. We do have a policy on this channel that we do not poop where we eat, meaning that if I want resources to make a smeltery, I'm not gonna dig around my own home. Because then it's going to look incredibly ugly and I have to fix it and I'm really not in the mood. Oh, that was sand. I thought it's clay. Oh, that was clay. That was a humongous patch of clay. Also, these guys seem to be friendly. For some reason. At this very moment, we have 3 stacks and 5 seared bricks. I'm cooking more grout, but let us see what we can craft. Cause you know, I was checking the recipes and then I noticed smeltery is not as cheap as you would think. But then again, it's also not that expensive. The tank is also the same, that is fine. I have smelted some glass. Oh, the drain is the pain. Okay. Well, we are going to have 3 of it anyways, so it's not a problem. Oh, don't worry about the horsey. He's safe. This is going to be the site of our temporary smeltery and it is going to be a 3x3. I just checked and we can use this smelter in order to double ores, so we are going to start automating it as well. Automation is a very fancy name, we're just gonna put a clock. How did you get in there? I must have dropped it. <laughs> okay, you come out. So quest-wise from the smelter we are good, we just need to make a tank. Can I even make a tank? Oh. Oh, okay, that's easy. Why are you coming this way? Go away. You know, I was trying to make a casting table and then I saw the recipe. Iron plates. It's not horribly expensive, let us make some. I think the first thing that we should actually craft is a bucket, and then the casting table. I have no idea how much damage he's going to deal, we just walk away for, I don't know, like 50 blocks, and move back. Oh, I think he's gone. Thankfully my mining session has been successful, so we can make the tank. For some reason it also needs lapis. I'm guessing it's just for the blue thing underneath, but we also need lava. Well, there is one nearby, I can go there. At this very moment, making plates is incredibly expensive, considering that we also don't have ore dabbling. Oh, we have tomic augmentations. Interesting. But after we get into ore dabbling, we should be okay. The aluminium brass recipe from Tinker's Construct is still a thing, so we don't have to waste gold for the cast. And the quest book itself is telling us it's better to make our tools out of alumite, so we should do that. Thankfully, I did find 5 pieces of obsidian, that is good. But since it is a combination of aluminium, iron and obsidian, uh, I kind of need a little bit more aluminium. That should be more than enough for a pick. Ladies and gentlemen, we are casting our first super pick. Oh, this is no longer 2 ingots. It's 4. Cause you know, normally you need 2 ingots in order to make a pickaxe head, in this mod pack it's 4. I was hoping to make a sword, we don't do that. So we get to the next quest which is obsidian. What? 128, jerk. It is perfectly fine, we are going to give a very small upgrade to our pick and hopefully that will be enough in order to mine some obsidian. Yeah, this has a durability of 555. Oh, the durability decreases. <laughs> With iron, okay. Uh, we take the wooden one then. You know, maybe I had a bit of an overreaction considering that we have vein miner. Getting 128 obsidian is a piece of cake. The only challenge that we have is to find the lava pool which is big enough. That's it. Aluminium. Nice. More aluminium. Oh, finally. I couldn't find the place. But here it is. So I just have to vein mine, right? So, how's life? Oh, come on, you jerk. It was at 80%. Almost there. Yes. That is 24. Oh, it was only one layer. Interesting. But we're done. And the final quest to finish the chapter is to make a knife. So why the hell did you need 128 of... Oh, it's compressed obsidian. I have made it back. I'm making some blocks. We just need two blocks of copper. Is it copper or is it bronze? Oh, it's copper. <laughs> then we should have enough. It's not going to be a problem. And I'm assuming if we make nine compressed obsidian, that should give us one double compressed obsidian and that should give us the knife. Yes, perfect. Oh, we got a trophy. Nice. Theoretically, chapter 1 is complete. I have not claimed any of my rewards. Chapter 2 is going to be totemic. I don't like it. Then the reason that I don't like it is that I just think it's a weird mod. Anyways, we have to start chapter 2 and that is going to give us a tome. That is nice. I thought you were going to give me the book. Okay. Then no. Totemist drum. I need to make two of them and I need treated leather and blocks of copper. Well, the sooner we get done with it, the better. You need lime dye. I want to make a confession, I have no idea how to make a lime dye. Well, we have to start somewhere, let us find the leather. But on a very positive note, exploration is not very difficult for us because we have a horsey. Oh, that is a spider, camouflaged as a pumpkin. I was not expecting that. I hate horses in Minecraft, you sleep and suddenly he's over there. You see, how did you walk this far? I found a castle. Interesting, interesting. Uh, you stay inside. Nope, you stay inside. 
Nothing of interest. Fish is nice, I guess. I should probably take the books, even though I have no storage for them. And I think back here should be a spawner or something. Nope. I thought there should be. Basically what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to find a desert, maybe we can find some cactus and some leather. So far I haven't seen any cows. Llamas drop leather, right? Oh yeah, they do. Baby ones don't. We have a thumbcraft dungeon. I'm not gonna go in there, obviously. So I have been traveling for a while and it seems the yes, deers drop leather as well. The problem is, my horse ran into lava and I'm really far far away from home. Look, it's crazy. Well, I saw a nice village and we have found cows. Great. And I do have a feeling maybe we should take one of these tents with us. Cause you know, it's a very long journey and I kind of might need to sleep again. Sword of the Cosmos? Nope. Well, at least I can cook my food. You see, in expert mode mod packs, you don't have to be an expert, you just have to be resourceful. It's just that I don't think we would be able to get into Totemic today because it's going to take me at least one hour just to get back home. I have been incredibly stupid. You can make cactus green using dandelion and lapis. And I had all of that at home. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm back home. We have our cactus green. And hopefully we can just make our lime dye. That is perfect. And this is the most annoying part. I have to make six of these. Oh, I need more lime. I forgot. So, totemist grum. Most expensive grums that I have ever made. So the progression itself is actually not that difficult. It's just that the recipes have been changed. So yeah, it's kind of painful that you need two blocks of silver just to make a flute. But... You know, it is what it is. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.